Hello, Jeep's job will review an other application known as to-do list. So essentially what to-do list does is it pretty much makes a nice to-do list which you can customize and you can basically change the way it works. So this is very similar to the Ant, Ant Notes um, interface. So here I have my own to-do list. So here it is. And it basically stays on my desktop like this. So let's say I want I have several different options. Let's say I can have it floating, I can have it translucent, I can have it rolled up. And I can unroll it using the different keyboard shortcuts. I can change the background color using very simple to use tools. However, my screen flow is currently holding on command one. I can change it to green for example. So this is, this is very, very easy to use. I can choose my mail and printing list and I can export this list. So I can export it as my to-do list, let's say on my desktop. And then here I have a rich text file with every single to-do that I have to do. So it's nicely boiled and made. It's a very nice and clean interface. So I can here I can set a notification for it if I want to and then I can add another one. For example, um, study for ICS test. And once I finish the math homework, I click check and then it appears down here and then here I can delete the currently focused one. So study for ICS test. Now let's head over here and you can change the to-do color. So I can change the color of all the actual pieces inside of here. Now inside here I can add a new to-do list. So using to-do for example. And here I have a larger list, so I can say like, hello world. And then inside here you can say remind me. And say I wanted to remind me in like one hour. I can click this or I can do a custom time. And I can select the time and then it would use notification center to remind me. So here I delete it, delete this, I can close the to do. And inside here, I can rescue off screen windows, and then you have preferences. So, in preferences, you can run it at the startup. You can hide it at the beginning so you don't actually see them. You can do not show dock icon. So, see this icon over here. If I restart the application, it won't show it. It'll store daily backup if I want to. So, this is very nice. It's probably already compatible with Time Machine. It can activate automatically upon waking the computer, and it can automatically adjust the size of the list or you can adjust it manually it really depends so inside appearance you can see the active window the translucency effects you can change the default background color but of course you can notice this changes by right clicking and changing it over to blue or whichever color you want we'll keep it on yellow you can also change the text color and you can make the gradient background or remove the gradiency effect you can then change the controls and then the behavior so the way it works and then you can change, of course, the actual sound, which is very similar to the ones from OS X. Or you can just select your own sound and sit over and see what sounds it has. For example, ABBA. You can probably select an MP3 file and then it will just open up the file. But because of this, I'll just keep it on submarine. You can remove completed to do's immediately within like an hour so if I already completed my SCS test this will automatically be removed within one hour so I don't have to remove it manually. You can export it and change the actual way it works so you can include task numbers if you want. So once I export this to do list it will have a specific formatting that it will follow and then you can also synchronize this for example with iCalendar or Dropboxes. So this is just a large amount of features, especially considering the price. You can download this application for the Mac App Store. And I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. And if you want more, please subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.